Welcome big dog. So today I'm going to show you how to save solid bodies into assembly of parts. So we have imported this assembly from a vendor. It's a brake and hub assembly with the steering arm and all these piece components. So we want to break it down so we can form a bill of materials in our assembly level drawings. So first thing you want to do is you want to select the components that you want to put in it to an assembly. So I'm going to filter out the solid bodies in this case since the majority of this step file assembly is solid bodies and I'm going to select the pieces that I want to put into an assembly. So I'm selecting the steering arm, the nuts, the cotter pins, and all the pieces I want into the steering arm assembly. Okay, once I've done that, then what I want to do is press S and then select delete slash keep body so you want to press keep bodies and then now you have your assembly right here so if solid bodies go to the top go to solid bodies and you'll see all the different imported parts right click it and select save bodies okay now you want to browse to the location you want to save this you select it you know based on where you want to put it at so once you select the location you want to put it, go click Auto Assign Titles and you can give it individual names if you want. I'm just going to leave it Auto Assign for now and then check the box and it'll go ahead and save it as an assembly of parts. Once you step through all the PDM stuff, it'll finally save it. I saved it as Test Arm. I'll rebuild and save the document and it jumped to the original file but all you gotta do is just minimize this and you have the test arm file here and I'll just get the assembly into the screen and you can see the feature tree over there saved it as a assembly of parts now you can break it down into a bill of materials the next thing you want to do is make sure you break all external references so how do you do that you can just right click the top level assembly and then go down to external references and then break all. This is a key step that uh, cannot be forgotten. You don't want it linked to your original assembly step file. I want to take this a step further. So I'm back in the original file. Where did our other solid bodies go? Well, they actually got um, hidden by this feature tree item so we drag everything above the body delete feature tree items and we get our original assembly with our solid bodies so the procedure to save other parts as assemblies is to go ahead and just hide all the bodies you had originally and then go to the bottom feature tree and drag above the body delete keep and then you can go into the same process that we did earlier to save them as bodies so hope you enjoyed the video